So hello and welcome back to Test Drive Thursday. Today we're taking a look at the Western Star 4900 FA. Now I believe this is the first time I've ever driven a Western Star. So let's get started by taking a look at all of the customization. So here we are inside the truck configurator. Now there's three different cabins to choose from. Uh, we've got the flat top sleeper, which is... Um, yeah, very flat, I guess. Um, Stratosphere sleeper. Now, that's a uh, unusual name for a cabin. But, yeah, it's very curvy. I mean, look at that. It's almost like a beehive in this um, paint job. But, yeah, that's a very, very curvy cabin. I do like that. And then you've got the midroof sleeper, which is um, just like a shorter version of that. Yeah, very interesting. Let's have a look on the inside to see if um, that makes any difference. So that's the, what's that? That's the larger one. And then, doesn't look like it makes any difference. No. Well, that's a shame because basically you have to go, um, well, in fact, that look, hang on, it's another interior. Ah, uh, that must be it. There we go. That's very high quality. Look at the textures. Yeah, that's not bad. Compare it to this one. Yeah, the quality, quality on this is so much better. Wow. Right, I know what cabin I'm going for. I'm going for this one. So onto the chassis, there are three to choose from again. You've got the 6x4 long, even though that's not a 6x4. Uh, six by four long. That's correct. And the six by four. I do think that looks a little bit short. So, yeah, I'll probably go for this one. Um, quite a few engines to choose from. I don't know. I don't know if to click that. It might break the game. So I'm going to avoid clicking it. Um, it did just crash on me. That's why I sort of had to transition uh, about a minute ago. When I click back on these, it did crash from this interior. So watch out for that. Uh, probably avoid these if it's crashing, uh, but I'd probably go for the N14 engines the most. I do like them. I like the power delivery. Um, it's just a really nice driving engine. 525 or 600. Um, 525 is plenty, but yeah, we've got the Cummins, then Detroit Diesel. Um, as I said, I'm probably not going to click it in case it breaks it, but yeah, they are there. Um transmissions we've got 18 speeds 13 10 and 6 i might try a 6 today uh, see how it handles um with this engine done the interior outside nothing really special you've got these which i've got no idea what's going on there skin 2 so we got some flames there. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. That's, I might go for that. That's pretty cool. Then we got more of a basic one. There's some kind of logo there or something. But yeah, it looks good in black as well. But yeah, loads of different colors to choose from. Let's go for white whilst we're configuring. Down here we have got um, well, no different... Oh, that's nice with the ball bar. Shame it covers up the um, logo a little bit. But yeah, those would get knocked off so easily. Uh, but I just think that looks a bit plain around the front. That gives it a little bit more character. Uh, nothing we can do there. Can change that to a battery box. Battery box plus emissions. Very chromey down here. Um... I've got no idea if that changes the actual inside, well, the actual size of the tanks or if it's just cosmetic. Usually that doesn't really work. But we'll see. I'm guessing this is steps, yeah. Uh, step there, and then that is the wheel arches or fenders. Shame you can't get them in paint like that. I'm probably just going to have to go for that because I don't really like plastic like that over there or that one yeah I'm not too sure um, executive mud flaps with a little chrome strip quite nice only one dollar um, right up here 
we've got mirrors which we can't change two different types of sun visor which you can't click them from the inside doesn't actually change yeah that's weird <laughs> The sun visor on the outside doesn't change what you see on the inside. I'm not sure why that's happening. Put some little roof lights on here, which is pretty cool. Uh, horns, I don't think you can remove. No, and then we got the interior light. I mean, look how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven interior lights. Probably go for the orange. And then I think that's pretty much it, you know. There's not a lot. Uh, chrome trim, I suppose that they're, they're pretty cool. Uh, we've done that, done that. And that's pretty much it, apart from the wheels. On the inside, you actually can't click on anything. What's that? Mirrors. But yeah, not great configuration. Uh, not a lot that you can do to do to this. But anyway, now I'm going to do a time lapse of me building this truck to my spec. Right then, so here we are, all fully configured. Now we've gone for this flame skin, as a said I probably would. Uh, orange wheels to match uh, the wheel arches. Uh, I went with the N14 Cummins engine. I, on the time lapse, you saw me go for a six-speed. Uh, I went for a 13-speed instead because basically, if you want to go more than 50 miles an hour, you've got to have more than a six-speed. I just forgot about the ratios on that thing. Now, one thing I've noticed driving here is that there was no option for a sat-nav so we've basically got a no sat-nav challenge today but as you can see you turn it on and the thing comes to life the wheel drops down which is a nice touch uh, the dials are very confusing I mean just look at them they're all over the place it's like someone's been sick over the dashboard and I'm, I do mean that in a bad way they're really hard to read and navigate I mean the fuels in the middle over there um, the rev counter and speedo I do not like the really sort of boring dials and they hardly give you any information there's no greens eco zone or anything we do have the odometer in there so you can, as you can see we've done 80 miles uh, we've got the info display up there indicators um, we've got that little digital display I mean it's very small but we do have basic information we've got the gear there time uh, fuel economy, temperatures, fuel, speed. I'm going to probably keep it on that because I can hardly read these dials. They're really inaccurate. I mean, look at the... Um, see, it's below zero miles an hour now. Uh, we got the parking brake. That's modelled. I don't think any of light switches are modelled. we got the interior light. You can see that come on somewhere down there by the... Judging by the sort of shadows. Uh, I don't think there's anything. Not even the cater stalk. That's pretty much it on the inside. Nothing massively amazing. We've got the shifter there. It doesn't say what um, if it's a 13 speed, 18, or whatever. We've got a digital um, outside temperature as well. Is it useful? Well, not really useful. It's cool to know. Um, I don't like the driving position. It's very sort of boxy in here. And from this area, which I find I have to get this low because any higher, I just cannot see if I've got my indicators on. I cannot see where the front of the truck is. It makes it really difficult. Uh, the windows are quite high as well. So, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the driving position. And the seats seem massive. It just seems out of proportion. 
when you look at the seats compared to the size of the dashboard but yeah I'm, I'm just sort of picking here uh, I do like the rear window that's very cool uh, but yeah it's very cozy in here let's put it in third gear as I said I went with the 13 speed this is a what 19 ton trailer so it's not massively heavy and we are away as I said I do really like this engine I've got it, well I drive it in most of the trucks in this game that I sort of drive on test drive Thursday and it's just really smooth, it sounds really nice, I mean listen to this I love that sort of vi uh, verbal there it doesn't like starting off in 6th I've noticed you have to sort of give it 3rd gear and then go into 6th when you're going about 10 miles an hour Hopefully we can get through these lights. Come on! Right, I'm committed. I'm going anyway. I think it was still on amber. But yeah, no, no sat nav, which is a bit of a pain. I mean, I don't know why any of the mods in this game would not come with a sat nav. It seems a bit stupid, really. And yeah, it sort of means that you can't really use it unless you want to sort of drive around with that on which in my opinion um, just takes away from the realism so yeah I don't like that but yeah it's, it's, I love the as I said the burbles when you just sit in here from the engine give it a quick rev and he wants to race oh bad start from me come on come on into sixth Come on, he must be lighter than me, all got more power. Come on, and that's 30, we're at the speed limit. Well, I know it's a speed limit, but we've got no way of telling because we got no sat nav. Yeah, beat me on that one. I mean, look at the lock on the wheel as well. And lots of steering input. Why is that stalled? It's in neutral. Weird. Yeah, you see what I mean? I can't really tell how close I am. I'm gonna say there. Oh, I can't really. I was about to check on the outside. Period. Yeah, I think it, if you go for one of the, well, if you happen to end up with one of the really tight parking spaces um, to reverse your trailer into, with this truck, I think that might be a bit of an issue. Now I looked at the map before I started and I believe I'm dropping off at Bitumen and now if I remember that's quite a small yard so we'll see how we go on that it's going to be a bit of a challenge with this because I don't really like the mirrors either with the massive um, exhaust you can't really see around them that much so we'll see how we go on that Come on, let's get through the lights. Yeah, there we go. Put it into 12th. It definitely cruises nicely, this. You don't have to put much power in to keep it going. Trying to keep it in lane as well. I mean, it feels massive from the inside. Um, where on the oh, somehow detach the trailer. Um, where on the outside, it doesn't actually seem that big. I mean, oh, helps if I put it in gear. I mean, if we compare it to some of the cars here, we we're not that much taller than them. It just feels very sort of wide and low. It's kind of hard to get the head head around it. The steering wheel's small, really. I wish. Also, yeah, you can't adjust the steering wheel up and down, or forward and back for some reason. So that's a pain. Because it blocks some of the dials. Look, I mean the fuel. It's only half visible. Yeah, I am moaning a lot about this. 
does drive pretty nicely though. Can't wait to get it out of this LA traffic. Stop start. I bet, we, bet we've been driving for about five minutes and we've done, I don't know, not even on the main road yet. Luckily this is a straight so not too much difficult navigation so far. Otherwise the quality in here is pretty nice. I mean I said about the seats, the textures on that are really good. Back there is fairly good. There's a lot of aliasing going on because of the type of texture the author's used. Right, can we be cheeky here and get in front of this guy? Yeah, I think we can. Why is he brake testing me, that guy in the front? I've no idea why they have traffic lights here. It's not like there's a lot of traffic coming out of the Kenworth dealer, is there really? Oh, that sound, it loves to rev. I mean, you can rev it up to about 2200 and then change. But the sound when you get up there is really nice. Sounds nothing like the European trucks. Here we go, 1500, 2000, 22, and change. Oh, can we get on here? There we go. And yeah, say if I went for the six speed, this is what it feels like um, being in ninth gear with this transmission. So yeah, you're doing like 15, you're sort of over revving, I mean, your fuel um, consumption would be awful. But with this, you can just put it in 13th, it does about 1300 RPM, or well, just under 1000 RPM. You can put the cruise on, let's put it on 58, there we go, and it's just fine. You can see the retarder logo just came up there. It's quite basey the engine note at this range. I do wish it sort of was a little bit quieter because on a long journey um, that'll get, I don't know, a little bit annoying. Let's just have a look at the other displays. Four miles per gallon. Not great. <laughs> um, we've got enough fuel for about a thousand miles. Realistically you're probably going to get about 800 so it's not great fuel economy to be honest, but it, I don't think it's only got like a small tank. Was it 150 gallons or 200 gallons, something like that? And it's a pretty big engine. I mean, 525 horsepower. Maybe we can turn into this lane. 525 horsepower. And the way I drive it, like revving it up, <laughs> it's not the most fuel efficient. on there, oh wrong lane, wrong lane, let me out, yeah I just cannot see what's coming up behind me because of the chrome exhaust, I don't think you can remove them or make them smaller or anything either, it's not too much in the way of configuration, I mean if we get, have a look on the outside, what's there is pretty nice, I just wish there was more of it, um, if you see what I mean, to watch out for where I'm going as well. When I see signs for San Diego, I've got to turn off. I should be able to do it. So I just did a run from San Diego to LA in a Freightliner Argosy, which is probably one of my favourite truck mods I've tried recently. Just the driving position, the, the way it sort of handles the road, it's just a really nice overall truck. This on the other hand, as I said, you feel very sort of, it feels very wide and low, but it also feels quite disconnected, I mean you have to put quite a lot of steering in to sort of get it where you want it to go, which is fine for on the sort of highway because you can sort of do that and the truck doesn't really go anywhere. but. When you get into sort of the town and sort of twisty roads, it 
it's a little bit annoying really it's kind of hard to predict where um, where the truck's gonna go I just wish it was a little bit more responsive on that front let's have a quick look at the wipers oh they're slow <laughs> They don't cover a lot of the screen, do they, really? But yeah, we don't, we don't really need them massively in California. It doesn't really matter too much. Alright, what's this for? San Diego. Half a mile, so I guess I'm turning off here. So yeah, overall, do I recommend you taking a look at this truck? Probably. If you've never taken a look at a Western star like me, definitely do have a sort of go in it you can't really drive it too far or to any destinations you haven't been before or know the roads of unless you want to put the um, UI sat nav on which I don't I just think it ruins the experience but yeah other than that the inside's pretty nice there are some annoying little things like you can't adjust the steering wheel um, lack of configuration or lack of in-depth configuration and some things like that but overall it's a fairly nice truck just that sound though, the engine really really nice, as I said you can get this in loads of different trucks um, I've got this engine in the Freightliner Argosy that I was driving it's just a really nice engine. Oh, where am I going? <laughs> Can't go that way. Must be down there then. Yeah, must be. Well, I made a mess of that. I'm just blocking the junction. Yeah, I'm sorry. Maybe if I had a sat nav, wouldn't have happened. Jeez, <laughs> almost got hit by a Mustang. I suppose that's what I, uh, they get their reputation. And where are we turning? Down here? And I looked on the map, I think it was down. You had to turn right at some point, so it must be here. Right, let's head down here. And it should be at the bottom, if I remember correctly. Is it where is it? Alright, let's carry on going. All right, it's definitely not down there. Let's try the next one. Is this like a basketball court? Oh, tennis. Cool. I play tennis if you didn't know. Uh, right, where are we going? See what I mean? Like around town, it's very hard to see out of. I don't really like the driving position. Right, it must be down here. Turning circle of a small country. Right, is it here? I don't think it's here. It's not 40 print. Let's try the next one. Let's turn right here. No idea where this goes. Right, that doesn't look right. That doesn't look right. I've definitely gone wrong somewhere. Right, let's pull on here. Hopefully there isn't an invisible wall or anything. Let's have a look at the map. So... Yeah, we could have turned... No, yeah, if we turned right there, we would have completely messed it up. Next right. So it was almost there. Just not quite. I'm going to try and reverse onto the main road now. There we go. Right, let's go and drop this off. It should be down here. And then 
we can see what this thing is like to reverse with. There it is, bitumen. And let's hang a left here. Oh, I feel like I've suddenly made a mistake. Yeah, I think I, yeah, I needed to reverse in here. Right, can I turn it around? Mm. Hope this doesn't jackknife or hit something. Straighten this up. I think I mess I messed up. Yeah, I'm way too far over on that one. I have to start again. Turn in early enough. Now we can just try and straighten this up. Still not having it. I mean, it's got to have that, surely. Yep, there we go. So, park, oh, parking brake on, engine off. So, if you've enjoyed that video, please do give me a like, subscribe for more, and hopefully, I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.